Okay, we're going to skip it. Jerry Danger, introduce our 8 o'clock All guys. right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Myrnawana Show stage, drummer from Our Lady Peace, Jeremy Taggart. Good, sir. Welcome to the show. Hello, folks. Hey. All righty. I so feel like this is Yorkville in 1968 or something here. It kind of is. We're pretty yeah. close to Yorkville in 68. Some of these guys know exactly what I'm talking about. That guy's an original guy from Rochdale. I kid you not. My dad used to play drums in York in Yorkville back in the day, in the really? 60s. Yeah. Is that how you got into this? Yes. Absolutely. That's how my dad... Uh, Kind of whipped me into shape, showed me how to do it properly, and uh, took some good lessons too. Some great local drummers as well, like Rick Gratton okay. and uh, Vito Retza and Paul DeLong, who you know are all awesome. So yeah. I gotta tell you, when we have people on the show, I and mean, you're like quite high up there in the rock universe now, I guess. Thank you, and we appreciate you coming out and supporting us. I I appreciate coming in here. This is quite a happening. I, it's, uh, it's a little it's strange to <laughs> behold, isn't it? You're on a stage, people are minding their own business. Yeah. And just well, I mean, uh, well they say uh, marijuana is, uh, is uh, was it Richard Manuel from the band actually said, uh, a bowl of cornflakes becomes a trip to the amusement park, which is pretty funny, actually, if you... Think about where we are now. It's pretty <laughs> much an amusement park. <laughs> this, yeah. Everybody is... Well, yeah. You're moving. I don't see it, but you're moving inside, definitely. Yeah. A lot of movement. Yeah. But the neat part is, is because they're, they're marijuana enthusiasts, yeah. is, is they don't... Uh, when we say, hey, we got the drummer from Our Lady Peace coming, they're like, no, you don't. You're high. Oh, yeah. They don't believe it. I actually am not th that person. <laughs> not that person. I didn't believe him, and I'm the co-host. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we had a we had a porn star coming in, and they're like, "No, it's not gonna happen." And porn stars. Yep. Well, I'm a yeah. I mean, that's a pretty sad look-alike if you're taking me out. Well, I'm sorry. Not gonna get a job in Vegas pretending to be Jeremy Taggart. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. So yeah, we are kind of like what's happening in that Yorkville scene, I guess, as you can appreciate. Um, yeah. Chris Goodwin back there has been running Vapor Central now for five years. This is actually Howie Mandel's stage. Like it was his, you mean? Yeah, it was his. He had to store it somewhere, and uh, it, it arrived here. It is Howie Mandel's stage. This is what his riser, his personal riser. <laughs> yeah. So Th that's kind of a trip, man. Yeah. I don't know what to say. It's it's a uh, you know we he's on TV all the time. Like for the last 35 years. So I don't know. From a dramatic series to, I don't know, a, a hosting funny shows and uh, what's the one? How We Do It, where it's basically candid camera with a bald guy? Yeah. I don't know. I think he can blow up a glove with his nose. Yeah, that was 1983. <laughs> He's still doing that. That was his act. That'll be a. That was his act in That's 30 years now, that one. Thanks for making me feel old. And when I was 10, that was cool. Right? When I was 10, blowing up a glove with your nose was cool. It's not, it's not unlike slipping on a banana peel or a whoopee cushion. It doesn't really get old. There's yeah. a reason why they're still for sale in the joke shops, like fake puke and shit and stuff like that. Always good times. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is so everybody feeling all right back there? Not the Enthusiasm. No, no, you got to understand, and the comedians understand this. And they I'm not a comedian, so I don't give a shit. It's good. I'm going to explain it to you mm. is that... People are high. They're, they're listening, yeah. but they're just like kind of like this is okay. Yeah. They're just in their own, their stonerism. They're doing. So what stone. you're saying is you won't really raise the meter on pot day at the Sky Dome or the Rogers Center for the Blue Jays at, game. At, you, at 420 Young Street, <laughs> the loudest they get is like. Man, this place is packed, but I don't seem to see the riser going at all. We're at two percent. Wow, man. The smoke detector is going off the roof, though. Don't worry, man. I got an Ernie Witt jersey on, bitch. It's all right. <laughs> Ernie Witt jersey. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what do you think? We're uh, heading for the World Series, I hear. Yes, we are. We bought ourselves a nice little team. <laughs> <laughs> we finally got to the salary cap. <laughs> yeah. That, that we, uh, we have some uh, exciting teams. We have 
We have more speed than Richard Pryor in 1976. And we got an old guy, too. Well, we got an old guy who can throw a knuckleball, which is great. The accuracy of this old guy that just won a Cy Young Award in the National League, which is very hard to do these days, yep. is, uh, is, is a credible old guy because he throws a pitch that he could possibly throw for the next six, seven seasons that, and maybe even get better. So it's a good move. I'm, I'm uh, excited. We're very excited. Does for anybody our, like baseball? I do very much so. Matty Oliver's back there. We got a bunch of ball fans. Do you guys like hockey? Yeah. Oh. Two guys? Not anymore. Not anymore. Um, Lockdown. Football? Yeah. Yeah. We're a sport loving venue here. Basketball? Yeah. Yeah. Any ballers? Oh. <laughs> ballers. No ballers? No ballers. That's cool. That's good. Bowlers. bowlers, the guy with the, the new guy that bowls with the two hands, that's pretty fucked up. He's raising the bar, no? He's actually winning with two. The guy throws the ball You're with two to hands. Do that. He fucking throws it with two hands. Is it? And a, people it? are going ape shit. He's filling up the place. That's not legal. Are you allowed that to do that? He might. A, he might as well have his head on fire because that's as different as it gets for bowling. It's legal in bowling. Is that legal? He holds the ball with two hands. Yeah, man. It's. It doesn't matter how you get how that, that ball legal? to the pins. As long as you're not wearing oh, a harness. Oh, okay, as long as you don't cross the line. Or as long I, Why do I feel like I'm preaching bowling? <laughs> you are. <laughs> you're doing a very good job. This, this is kind of is a flaccid mic stand. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, a little bit on the uh, yeah. can't get things going side. Why yeah. can't I? It's really, yes, yeah. well, I, c I can do this. It's you're not too stoned. To we're stoners. You're a, you're a pro. We're, we're stoners. You know yeah. how what to work What is in much. those muffins? <laughs> those muffins are gluten-free. No, that's those it. muffins, there's nothing special about you them. You can They're have just one. If I have one, is that more of a plane ride muffin or is that a traffic muffin? They're, um, they're high in fiber. High oh, in fiber. Oh, shit. <laughs> and gluten-free. No, they're made from that. coconut flour and Not in the Metamucil sense, right? No. More in the watch out. I'm only going 20 kilometers an hour sense. No, no. No, no, they're, no, they're not special. They're safe. They're no, safe. they're safe. All the food up here is safe. They can't fuck me up that much. Is that? But there's something in it other no, than no, sugar? no, no. There's Just nothing. There's Straight no up. wheat in it. That's that this thing. There's no wheat. Just no <laughs> wheat. <laughs> no, he doesn't want to eat it. I just got, I just got that feeling. Like <laughs> You're in a weed lounge. And then he fell down and fell asleep, and then they took out his kidneys and put him in the. <laughs> we would put him in the bathtub with the ice. No, we <laughs> wouldn't do that. I'm kidding. I know I'm safe. Mm. We're nice people here most of the time. What's in that muffin? Coconut flour, yeah. banana, cinnamon, nutmeg, lots of eggs, honey. Anything to make my eyes heavy? No. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. She's a diet. I, uh, yeah, I'm a nutrition student. Should like I eat one of these things? I swear on my life. You She's want a, a fist nutrition pump? student yeah. at, at uh, Ryerson. She well, won't, she don't want poison <laughs> you. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to eat the whole thing because I just... The uh, worst thing I'll do to you is force you to eat healthy. It's kind of <laughs> cold. Oh is there ice know, in yeah. here? I don't do ice, man. No, no, no. I, m I made them at the beginning of the week, last week, and then I just wanted to make sure that people got them here, so I froze them. I froze them. You froze them? Yeah, yeah. so they would last longer. Smash its job to make sure I eat well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, healthily. Which like, like I may free. live under you like soon. <laughs> I got like watermelon and oh, I got it crazy. It was blueberries, but do you like blueberries? Uh, these are these are dynamite. You being sarcastic? No, they're good. Okay. <laughs> this is good. You can one, like one use that. Well use it as a pullout quote for your next Ryerson assignment. Yeah, he's on. Yeah, okay. There you go. Done. It's like a, a food of. review right there. Yeah. Um, is, it, is this going to go blue. ten thousand feet in the air and fall down? No, I hope not. <laughs> you might. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I will probably. Well, it's like more indigo, and it's pretty good stuff. Uh, indigo? <laughs> indigo. There's we we have something that will do that if you would like a dab. No doing dabs. Remember, you guys aren't allowed to do dabs. Oh, yeah, we're not allowed to give people dabs. Not allowed to give guests dabs. What? Behave like yourselves over the, there. Is that a Chris Goodwin rule? That, or that's a that rule. That's a rule. No, no dabs now. No what? dabs to the guest. He's got to speak for at least 30 minutes and... Oh, great. Here comes the mini cop. <laughs> no. no. We just wave to what them. What happens Look, is, is you guys do dabs. They dab a guest. What they do to... It's like being screeched in by a newfie. Let's start with... The, it's like being... What's going on right now? <laughs> they're trying to dab you in, which is Where like... Where is that cop coming from? <laughs> oh, it's an ambulance. Oh, an ambulance. here we go. The dabs are taking us down. Yeah. 
No, <laughs> no dabs, right? Going down, man. The dabs. The is coming for the newbie done dabber. Done with the dabs. Yeah. They, yeah, they you guys do whole push dabs on people dab a lot. A little dab will do your time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it will, actually. Six months. <laughs> six months mandatory men. Little dab will do you. Six months. Yeah, they do push dabs on a lot, though. The Always. The people that don't smoke swag. Yeah. Always with the dabs. The guys with the dabs. So it's high Just keep saying no. Rate. We'll get it eventually. <laughs> Yeah. That's it's been good. intense. All That's right. awesome. And very it. nice. And it. It's not time yet. Gonna unlock his phone. All right. Thank you for talking in to the Murnawana show. The time is now 420 in Hawaii. We're back next year. Same bong time, same bong channel. Good night.